It is I, Menace Snow Decker, and welcome back cash? to another YouTube video huh? of Snowbreak. Oh, I didn't say anything. No, you said something. What could I get cash for? Huh? And I got I got so many characters now. Why do I gotta have three fennies? <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't you just like upgrade the character's version or something? Not have to get a whole new character. I, I don't know. It's weird. Also, also, I finally got Moxer. Definitely gives off shy vibes. Oh yeah, I also, also got Cyrus the Goldfish. Forgot about that one. There's so many people here. There's, there's just so many now. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do some things. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna go in here. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I never did finish this, did I? All right, back into the mud we go. Hey, look, it's ugly and uglier. Uh, which one's ugly and which one's uglier? I'll just let you decide. Great Exoc, it seems we have some unwelcome visitors. The Heimdall Force is here. The Heimdall Force? T's lapdogs are finally here. I think I'm just changing up the voices at this point, because I honestly don't recall what I did before, and I just don't care. I, I really don't. Plus, no offense, but these two look mad ugly. You might have a handsome face, but you are deeply ugly on the inside. Your soul is disgusting when I look at it. Don't worry about them. They won't find anything. Oh, I'm sure I'll find something. Bring Dianthus to me. As you wish. Hey, look, it's Miss Trixie. The one who I do not really like or care about. Great Exoc. Weren't you just at the altar? Was that a body double? Without knowing reality... You cannot perceive falsity. Ah ha ha ha. Speaking like a great leader himself. Ah ha ha. Yeah, very funny. I too may not be the real s Sartre. We may continue our conversation. Sir, could you ask... Simona to leave first? Is what you're about to tell me disruptive to the word of the divine? Like I give a crap about your divinity. You are disgusting times infinity. Why should I give a crap about your divinity? I know the Heimdall Force's detailed combat plan and their specific locations. I appreciate such a plain and simple act of betrayal. But unless you have more valuable information... Exoc, there is a message for you. It's the High Prospector. Why are these words all so strange? Sartre, there is something you must do. Die? Okay, let's do it! Oh wait, no, he's still alive. Dang it! Got my hopes up for nothing. Ah, uh, High Prospector. You can depend on me. We were... I clicked on it by accident. I am so sorry. That's my fault. Just, I just skipped a valuable line. We require you to do something for us. As long as you order it, I'm willing to sacrifice anything. I don't know what they were going to say now. Gosh dang it, what have I done? Miss Dianthus, I am not interested in the Heimdall Force's combat plan. You seem to be their informant. No, that does not... 
Oh, that, I'm sorry. That does hold some value. Would you be interested in making a larger contribution to the Titans? Only if you promise to forgive Simona. But of course, the Divine always forgive their most devout children. What about that little girl? Did you forgive her? You sick bastard freak of nature, how dare you lie? You will deliver a message to the Heimdall Force which states the true Sartre will appear at the end of the Path of the Discipline. Contact them in the most plausible way possible. Make sure they believe it. Don't believe me. I've never lied to them before. You see, you don't have to lie. You just gotta withhold information. That's how the whole thing works. Great Exoc, they replied. They said they're on their way to the Path of the Discipline. Purificant. Go check. Bring Simona with you. Definitely a sick freak. Dianthus, they're, they're forcing me to perform a purging of sin. Don't shout. I can hear you. The believers told me that Simona is your adoptive child. Is that correct? Simona began to cry quietly. Simona took an extra box of hardtack after getting off work. If she gets an additional box, someone else will get less. Perhaps she doesn't see the occasional act of greed as a sin. Maybe she sees the towers as a lawless place. It was just a box of hardtack. You see, she still continues to insist. She doesn't understand how difficult it is to establish order. Oh, and you do? No offense, mate, but your body looks way too green around the fingers, if you know what I mean. I don't think you've had a decent struggle in your life. Your face is way too pretty, and it's pissing me off. I cannot wait to clubber my fist into it. Or Nita's! Preferably Nita's. She punches way harder. <laughs> Don't judge me! He's a criminal! I'm just a guy trying to beat him up. I can be as heartful as I want to in this case. <laughs> I have a very twisted mind. I love this! Great Exarch, you promised. Of course, of course, with the Titans as my witness, I promised I would forgive Simona. Even so, I hope to help her understand how grave her mistake was. Let's say the towers were a free-for-all like before. Unbound by laws or regulations outside the wall, everyone would have the will, right, to pursue their own survival. Without constraints, where would people channel their free will? Would they take the high road or the low road? Simona, you have two options. One, leave with Miss Dianthus. Continue dwelling in the darkness and live as you always have. Two, between you and Miss Dianthus, only one may leave. I will send the individual who leaves outside the wall where a new life will be waiting for her. Miss Dianthus, I will also afford you this choice. No matter what you choose, the one who makes the choice need not bear any guilt or consequences. Twisting words as always. I, I can't stand that. Now what will you choose? How about the third option? Uh, I use this case right there. I wh whack you upside the head. I, I take the apple, shove it in your mouth, and then I punch you in the mouth. The apple goes inside, thus getting it stuck in the process. And then I grab the girl's hand and I run out of there. <laughs> That's always an option! Thank you, Great Exarch. We choose the first option. Simona, let's go. Simona, you must both agree if you choose option one. Don't fall for it. Don't. He's, he's not trustable. Great Exarch, are you really going to send me outside of the containment wall? With the Titans as my witness, I promise. 
couldn't we both? Simona, don't try to negotiate with the Great Exarch. Yes, you are aware of the rules. Then I choose the second option. Oh dear, here we go. Disbelief flashed through Dianthus eyes. A sense of ridicule soon replaced it. <laughs> so, can you see the towers clearly now, Miss Dianthus? In the towers, hell is... other people. Only the teaching of the divine can rescue us from hell. False prophet, I hate you. Even the worst form of order will triumph over the best freedom. I am getting sick of all this reading. Can we go to the action already? What a shame. Individuals like you who call themselves saviors do not belong in the order of the divine. I will... I'll give you some time to say goodbye. All the inhibitors I've saved up over the last few months are in that place, but be careful. Don't let anyone see them. Dianthus? A pure feeling of guilt slowly spread over Simona's chest. I'm sorry, don't you mean her face? How, how does the pure feeling of guilt spread over one's chest? It's more visible on the face. Th this is bad writing. Overflowing out, out of the corners of her eyes. Yeah, see, it just says her chest, and then it says her eyes. Can you just say face and then eyes? What are you doing writing this? Inject yourself once a month. Don't take that miracle drug stuff anymore. Those people from Yagdrasil said that it isn't good for you. I'm so sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. These are the towers. I'm sorry, Dianthus. I can't live without you. The girl began sobbing, her words sporadic and choppy. Heh. <laughs> then why are you? Because in all those stories you told me, you said, it's not enough for people to simply survive. I'm sorry I'm being selfish. Don't cry. You made your decision. Don't start regretting it now. Everyone is selfish, even me. You just haven't seen it. Uh, finally, that's over. I can go on to actual action. It was exhausting. Oh, come on! Another trial! Fine. I want to try out... I want to try out Fenny, even though her outfit attire and design work honestly gets on my nerves a little bit. I'll bring Nita next Maybe time. I can finally put that training to use. Uh, yeah, please do. Rendezvous would be nice. Jeez, everybody between buildings right now? What coordinates? I didn't see no coordinates. You know what? Three. Oh my gosh, this sight is so inaccurate! This gun practically dances over the screen. Yeah, not my finest moment. Come on, just go down already. Change things up. <laughs> Agreed. Do you mind? Nothing. Get off me. Nope, not good. Not good. I shouldn't be this rusty. Yeah, you think? Three, two, one. Duck. That was a good one. If I start a get out of here, I finish it. Enemy is down. Stay sharp. Okay, switch to Fenny. Yeah, how'd you like that? 
Oh, he's dead. Alrighty then. Change things up. Wee! Look at the little ninja run. <laughs> Okay, well, that was stupid of me. Yoo-hoo! Come here! You are stupid times infinity. You should have known better. Oh, ricochet, ricochet. I remember rifles being so much better in the past. Take this. Excuse me, can you can you just take a bow, please? Oh my gosh, this Fenny's terrible. I miss her gun! This is not the gun! Okay, so apparently shooting him damages my health, apparently. I just now noticed that. Eat this! Bang! What <laughs> the Right there. I don't get how shooting him hurts my health like that, but okay. Only through victory can we hope to be remembered. Uh, that's not true. One, some of the greatest stories in history have their leaders losing. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't believe me? Uh, look up the Civil War. The battle between Robert E. Lee and Ulysses S. Grant. I believe that was on the Battle of Gettysburg. One of the Confederacy's greatest losses. I believe so, anyways. I haven't read it in a while. Okay. No, no more Fenny. I, I need Nita back. Okay. Now let's see where we go from here. Could be a lot of hostiles ahead, everyone. Be careful. Really? What gave that away? Maybe it was a thing in the sky. It's like they don't even calculate their odds of success. Like those things didn't even attack. I'm actually kind of disappointed. It. It's that strong? Oh, that's a new one. Definitely a new one. Yeah, I agree with that one, Fenny. Okay, let's see if I can get around here. Die for us, cook later. All right, get rid of that thing first. Come on, go, 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 go! <sighs> Darn assassin! Ow. You want some, do you? Well, he got some. <laughs> just you wait. He definitely got some, and I just got shot in the back. Come here. Got that sorted then. All right, I need something a little bit more range to it. I, I Frida. Can't promise anything, okay? Dang, these things don't even penetrate. Do you mind? No one tells you not to play with fire. Well, somebody should have told me. Who needs this the most? 
Why don't these guns auto load? Does nobody think about these things? Because auto loading is stupid. We've established that. It. It's that strong. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with the shotgun for a little while. Hey, yo, where are you aiming? My face is up here. That's sorted then. Just because I can. Alright, moving on. Uh huh. Reach the altar. Go, 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 go. Is that it? Only through victory can we hope to be remembered. I guess that's it then. Okay. Cool. These battles are starting to bore me. In fact, this game is starting to bore me. Where's the challenge? I need a challenge! <laughs> The same. Holding her guns in both hands, Haru carefully approached Sartre. She used her foot to push aside the bionic material covering his face. Oh, its face. Exposing a mess of cables and transmitters. This Sartre is a fake. Was the intel from Dianthus fake? What? I knew it. I didn't trust her for a second. If there's nothing here, all teams should immediately retreat. We underestimated how cautious Sartre is, and the... Adventist influence over the towers. T is going to tear into you if we go back empty-handed. I apologize. My intel wasn't accurate. It wasn't your fault. Hmm? Haru suddenly pointed toward the, the other side of the path of the discipline. Adjutant, look. Uh, look at what? Uh, I see towers, I see sunset, I see clouds, I see glass, steel. There's a large group of people gathering up ahead. Great Exarch, the supply distribution for this month is complete. There is ten people's worth left over. Excellent. Take five people's worth and give it to our rule-abiding brothers and sisters. This is how the divine reward piety in their followers. I'm sorry, I do not know that word. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, it's a biblical term. Okay, cool. The quality of being religious or rev reverent. Acts of piety and charity. Similar. Devoutness. Devotion. Piousness. <laughs> A belief or point of view that is accepted with unthinking, conventional reverence. Noun. Okay. I had no idea. I tried reading the Bible once, but there was like a whole bunch of words in there I didn't know. And it got to the point where like I ended up getting to the part of Egypt. And after that, I just gave up reading it because there was just so much going on in there. Don't get me wrong, it was a fascinating read, but it was a little bit too much to read, if you know what I mean. Great Exarch, the candidate on floor 42 passed the test and has successfully joined our organization. May the Titans bless him and bless you too. Next month, the 42nd floor will receive two people's worth of supplies. Thank you, Exarch. The brothers and sisters on floor 42 will certainly express their gratitude for the blessings of the divine. Well, 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 if it isn't Miss Hot Child herself. Hello, Esther. Exarch Sartre, I haven't received the supplies you promised me. You said you'd give me them this month. Please calm down first. I heard that someone under you was involved in a confrontation with a resident of the towers. It was just a little argument, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh, sure. Sure. But I do remember that when I took you in on behalf of the towers, you made a commitment to me. Fighting is not permitted here, and no one is exempt from their duty to maintain order. Do you seek to violate that? Hmm. <laughs> I'll put you down for a yes, then. I'll restrain my people properly after this, but what about that batch of supplies? Please do not worry, the supplies will be sent to your post tomorrow. It will be timely from now on, provided you no longer disturb the peace. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Uh-huh, yeah, you better. Uh, check, check, moving on. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> My brain just went dead the soon moment I saw this. Uh, hi. What, what do you know? Twins. <laughs> Oh, it seems that a new friend has arrived at my parish. I am Sartory, Exarch of the Towers, my dear visitors. Have you come to beg the Titans for redemption? <laughs> uh, not quite. I'm Menace Decker, an adjutant with the Heimdall Force. You and I have some business to attend to, Sartory. We request that you cooperate with our investigation and come with us to Yagdrasil headquarters. They did not like hearing that. <laughs> Within a split second, the atmosphere tensed. The two purificants next to Sartre moved into fighting stances, <laughs> shielding Sartre from possible snipers with their bodies. Their anxious behavior seemed to reveal something. Could this be the real Sartre? If so, why did he decide to approach us like this? <laughs> no need to be so tense, everyone. As the Exarch of the Towers, I've always cooperated with Yagdrasil for the prosperous development of the Towers. I'm sorry, always cooperated? Then what's with all the shooting you've put on me and my troops here today? I trust that the Heimdall Force would not take me forcefully without any proof, correct? Both of these are true. Okay, the Adventists are using cruel and unusual punishment. That is true. That is true. And it's unclear where your robot double originated from. That is also true. Uh, I think it originated from him, but that's just my thought on it. Do you possess any evidence or perhaps witnesses? In fact, speaking of witnesses, everyone in the towers can attest to what a law-abiding citizen I am. My father works for Hilbert Author LTD. While I am disabled, I rely on these robots to live a typical life. Is that worth investigating, Adjutant? Hmm, the Heimdall Force came empty-handed. Or is it perhaps I worship the Titans that you seek the sub- to subject me to such unjust treatments. Sartre's voice. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Uh, river, Riverberated? I, I think, maybe? In the space between the bridges and the towers. How about echoed in the space between the bridges and the towers? Making words bigger does not make it better. Big fancy words does not make it better for understanding. I glimpsed residents of various levels peering at us through their windows. Sartre didn't even try to hide his slight smirk of satisfaction. I'll give you one more minute to organize your thoughts. While talking, I sent Marion a message. Mister, I implore you to consider the consequences of acting without permission. Hey, mister, I implore you to stop being such a major jack in my rear here. 
before I decide to remove it and shove it up yours. Recently, Yggdrasil's callous actions in the camps caused the destruction of countless coyotes and scavenger shelters. Waves of hungry mouths to feed poured into the towers. And why didn't those hungry mouths bite? It was entirely due to the order established by the Adventists in the towers. Part of that's true, the rest of that's nonsense. Adjutant, what if the tower suddenly lost all order maintained by the Adventists? Like water without a container, their hearts would lose shape, flowing down recklessly until they seep into the ground and become filth. You know, the fact that he's trying to make him sound like a divine character... It's really starting to piss me off. I do not fear Yagdrasil because you need me. On the contrary, I do not need you. The Adventists need Sartre, the Towers need Sartre, and Yagdrasil needs Sartre. Without you, there would be another Sartre. Don't get it twisted, you're not special. <laughs> oh! Oh, way to stick it to him! I'm proud of you, Adventists! Way to go! Sartre's smile froze on his face as though I had struck a nerve. Oh, that angry look doesn't become you. No, I am special. To the High Presbyter. I am special. I was chosen by the High Presbyter. And I was chosen to exist by my mom and pa, what's your point? What, you think because you're mostly a machine that you're suddenly the most interesting thing on the planet? Bruh, come on. Get real. Even Sophie, that... I noticed the case of quietly moving nearer out of the corner of my eye. Okay. How about closer out of the corner of my eye? I'm just nitpicking at all these lines now. Then she nodded at me. Go! <laughs> Adjutant. <laughs> oh! You are not in control here. I'm sorry. No, wait, I'm not sorry. You've been an absolute pain in my side this whole time. This is enjoyable. If I only had some cookies and milk, I could literally just sit here, eat, and enjoy the show. Marion shot a precise bullet through Sartre's leg. From the sound of it, it definitely passed through flesh, not machinery. However, Sartre raced toward the edge of the path of discipline as if he didn't feel a thing. It was obviously leading to a dead end. All Heimdall operatives, prepare to subdue Sartre by force. <laughs> that was beautiful. I loved it! Especially the shot through the leg, that was... Oh, that was perfect. Hey, well, how about that? Cool. Wait, I, I could have two Fenny Cornets? Oh, no, I can't! Oh, come on! Fine. Oh, wait, I just dismissed her! Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, no. Go back. Okay, that works. I want to keep life on here. I actually do like that version. And I'm gonna put on Yao. I've recently done some pretty high upgrading for Yao, so I'm really hoping it makes a good difference. Yeah, I don't- I don't need Fenny. 
I'm sorry. I, I don't need her for this one. Path of Discipline. Adventist Ceremony. Sights of the Tower. Sartre Exarch of the Adventist, uh huh? Feel the call. So you don't. Can you stop muttering away like that? It's driving me crazy. But please don't be angry. That's just how he is, so don't blame him. Oh, yeah? Sartre has an ordinary shield, which takes more damage from normal ballistic shots than it does from skills. Sartre's various barrage attacks have a certain pattern, and... Why are you giving me hints? Let me figure it out! Whoa! Fully loaded. Wow, it does take a lot of damage, doesn't it? Yeah, sorry, pal, but... Okay, yeah, d definitely life here. Sorry, dude, but your time's up. Oh, what the? All right, fine, sure. Help as requested. All right, where is he? There we go. Let's get him. Come on. Help as requested. You know, you're not really that powerful, dude. This help? I'll be over here. That does not help. Hang back. I'll deal with this. Someone's looking for trouble. I need attack damage. I don't need heal. Just you wait. Man, all that power and it's basically for nothing. That does it. I want to get rid of these guys. They are seriously making this hard for me. Where'd they go? Come here, you! I don't care if you're off the ground, I'm gonna punch you anyways. You are getting on my nerves, and I am sick of it. Fine, sure. Great. Just great. I don't think I'm dealing damage fast enough. Help as requested. I should have called in sick. Leave yep. me. That's my fault. That one was my fault. Whoa. Where'd he go? There you are. I like how everybody's just probably watching this from the safety of their windows because they're just too scared to come out and do it themselves. The fact that I gotta redo all this now because I didn't get the score I needed because I lost Yow. Go down. To the snow. That was really hardcore. 
That's that then. See you in the morning. You are on the job. You are so unprofessional. Yeah, I want to redo that one. I'm not I'm not satisfied with my performance at all. And I'll just read the next two next time. Okay, uh, swap this out. Let me see, uh, details, details. That one's actually probably better. Alright, deploy Marion. It's probably not gonna deal the damage I need, but it's definitely gonna be better than what I've been doing. All right, let's do this. Come on. Come on, Sartre. Let's see what you got. All that power. And it means absolutely nothing. Oh, look at how fast his health is dropping. Nita, do you want to get a hit you hit in? Hang back. I'll deal with this. That's fine. Feel my breath. Fully loaded. Up, oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Really not in the mood for that. Three, two, one, go. Me out! Filthy little coward. <laughs> Go down. Huh? Ah. That's all they've got. Yeah, now that I was wise to his tricks, it wasn't really that difficult. really was not that difficult at all. That was kind of a letdown, actually. Alrighty, then. Play them all. You know what? I think I'll do that next time. Before I continue reading on. Because I'm sick and tired of reading stuff. I really am. It's... It's agonizing having to read everything. It really is. Still though, I am making some good progress on this game. You know, I should, pro I should probably go to Gigi's thing, see if I can get some stuff afterward. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and ever and, and, and yeah, I can't talk right. I'm gonna go ahead and end everything right here. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, then give it a like. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. And like always, this is Minnesota Decker signing off, and I will see you, you, next time. So bye bye. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget the smile, cause remember. A smile a day goes a long way. I hope to see you all back here again soon. Hey, one more thing before you go. Can you check out the links in the description? Thanks.